hey guys welcome to excel ruler channel again and in this episode of lookup function and formulas in excel we are going to cover one more important function in excel which is called offset function the offset function in excel returns the cell or range of cells that is a specified number of rows and columns from a cells or range of cells i know it may be confusing for you but offset basically is a reference function in excel to look up certain data from your worksheet so i have categorized this video into three parts first will be the basic workaround of, of offset function and second will be the workaround of offset function in dynamic range if your range changes over a period of time so you can work around with the help of offset function and calculate certain calculations or formulas with this powerful function and third will be how to create dynamic named ranges with the help of offset function if you have a named range and the data in that named range changes over a period of time or you can say dynamically then you can work around offset function to create a dynamic named ranges in excel so if you haven't subscribed to the channel do it because in upcoming period of time we are going to cover so much about excel its functionality formula pivot tables and power query let's get started so here we have a sample data here which is just a demo names which is just a random names and random product codes and the sales data here okay so to understand any function i have told you before you should write that down in your worksheet and just learn about its arguments okay that way you can learn anything about that function so here is the reference see offset function works like a robot how see when you tell a robot to do something robot not basically means physical robot you can analyze anything or any functionality around the web or real life whatever you tell your machine to do and it does that okay whenever you click on smartphone you click on some apps and it do does that right based on your action the same way offset function works you tell offset the reference from where it start look king for your values and in the first example let's find the sale of joshua nb product okay so you tell the offset function from where you start searching offset function search like a v lookup vertical lookup it search whenever you define a reference here like here we have defined a1 let's make it a absolute reference here and comma and now just like v lookup we look down like this and to the right and here we tell offset to where joshua li lies in your worksheet it lies in the second cell from the reference don't look at the row number just look at the reference number from the reference cell a1 so it's second and the same way column so you need to specify the column number which is also the second first second and now comes the interesting part height and width see here height means the number of references from which you have selected okay or you can say number of rows if we have selected the number of rows like here 1 2 3 we want to data of joshua which is this cell in b right so height will be the number of rows 1 2 3 you want to collect like that so one cell will be the one height plus one will be the second plus 1 will be the third so it will be the third three height and same way the width here so if we want to find all sales of a b c product of joshua then we should have selected 1 2 3 so three height and we are going to learn that in upcoming minutes so for this we are going to find only 738 which is sales of joshua in product b we just need to enter 11 because we just need only one cell here and close the parenthesis let's see if we get the answer or not see we get the answer so that's how you work around offset function hope you get it by now how to look up for certain value using offset function so let's level up our game now in the next part what we are going to learn is we are going to find all the sales of Joshua in product A, B, and C. So to do that, first enter the offset function. So reference will be the same like this. I'm making it a absolute reference. 
so rows what will be the rows here it will be the second because we are going to find all the sales made by the joshua and we know the headers here are the product codes different products codes which get sold by all these employees and we want to find all the sales by joshua then we will start our reference from first code here so first will be our column number and the height now height is one we don't need a height here we just need the width here which is three so height will be the one the width will be the three now close the parenthesis see we get all the values here so if you have watched previous video it's same like a filter function here the way it reverts values so now if we want to submit up these values we can do that with the help of which function you may know by now some function just wrap this formula with the sum function close the parenthesis there you go you get the 2020 is not the year number it's a total number of sales by joshua quite a fantastic number yeah so in the same way let's practice some more now find all sales of product b here so all sales by joshua care joseph carol rain rodri so we need all the sales of these employees of product b same way we just need to add it this function here first let's see if we can get the right numbers here so first reference is absolute reference which is a1 which is fine so next will be the row number of row from reference get started we need first because we need sales of joseph also right and now the column will be the second because we just need only sales of b here right and here we get the height so we have five number of employees so height will be five here so width will be the one because we don't need a or c's total here so let's see if we can get the right numbers yes we get the right number 365 to 478 now let's wrap it up with our favorite function <laughs> some function so there you go 2753 so that's how you work with offset with help a function like some function in excel okay so let's now create a tool and level up our game okay so first we will create a drop down list i love drop down list because it's such much easier and user friendly so in here let's write employee here and in the next column let, let's product and on the this basis we will create a drop down list okay so to create a drop down list of this of these employees we just need to go to data and go to the data tools under the data tool ribbon data validation here we will create the list and select the list here there you go click ok so we get names here and now we will enter these headers as a product ids or you can see code the same way we have done for the employees just create the list like this and there you go let's see let's select C so now here let's give it a header of formula and now on the basis of this we will work our formula so so we need to find the sale of Joseph in product C the same we have done but we just leveling up our game so we will use helper function like match in this so let's enter our formula here so reference will be this it's all right make it absolute now the row so here are the rows but we need the position of joseph okay and to know the position of this to make it an automatic tool we need one function to identify the position if you have watched our previous videos we have done that function is called match function so here we have two main values here so lookup value will be this let's make it absolute with the help of f4 and lookup array will be this right match will be the exact so we get the rows number and second will be the column the same way we have done the employee part we are going to done the product part here so for the product part we have a match here lookup value will be the c let's make it absolute in this range or you can say array comma exact match we needed 
close the parenthesis so height and width will be the one one because here we are just going to create a tool where we can analyze our data using these drop down list so height height or row height and width will be the one let's see if we can get our answer or not joseph in c so yes we get the right answer here and now we are moving forward to dynamic range in offset function so you may have got this like here okay you have got these data very frequently like this carol in c 494 which is the right answer suppose you have a new employee in your office name raman okay and you get all the data of raman here let's say 121 200 he's new so he's not getting that much sales like previous employees so give him a break so 313 now but if we see our data is static not dynamic here it doesn't get any raman here right and it doesn't get any sales of those abc on the basis of raman there's a two way to do it the first way will be to add raman here manually or any n number of employees or any data you may have in your worksheet you can enter that and manually add that to the list or we can just add more values here in the data validation or you can say in the list such that it can auto detect any new values and revert back us the outcome we want okay let's say go to the data validation just select it so we have the list here now to add the list either we can just select one more like this or we can select up to 14 lists here okay we just select the 14 list here go back click ok now if we select raman here raman will automatically automatically detected by data validation and if we select raman here we get the c part but it gives us an a answer why because we haven't selected the range in our match function okay so if we know like here if we know our data will change dynamically so we will just select more ranges here like this okay and if we close it down let's see if we get the answer or not yes we get the answer which is 313 hope you get to know how to work with dynamic ranges okay so now we are moving to the next part of offset function in this part we are going to create dynamic named ranges in excel using offset function what is dynamic named ranges see you may have named ranges in your data and if you want to add some more data to that name ranges it doesn't select automatically and you have to do it manually going to the formula tab and name manager and edit all those entries manually but if you want to create a dynamic name ranges such that those values should also be included in that name range then you can use offset function so how are we going to do that see this is the demo sheet here which is demo data which we are working on so first we need to select all these values and to include in that name range such that to find that if is this particular function working or not and to select all these values using offset function let's just put a formula here and see if we can select all these values in the table using offset function so just putting up offset function here and the reference will be start from joseph and make it an absolute using f4 key and we have the number of rows and columns we are not letting f offset to navigate through search and da certain data but we want to select all these rows and columns here and such that these rows and column argument will be zero because we are not navigating it we are just selecting all the data and to select all this table we just need to add the number of heights which is six and number of width which is four let's see if it select our data or not so yes it does select all our data here and we want to include this in our name range so how to build that just cut it and go to the formula here let me just enter it go to the formula here and go to the name manager and create a new name 
so for the new name i'm just entering it like a sales you can enter whatever you want so in comment section you should include some comment to you know increase your efficiency in excel because you may have loads of entries so let me just refer to here and put the formula which we have entered above so here we have a input this formula here let's see if it's right or not yes it has selected so this dotted lines you can see here means you have selected all this data in this particular range so suppose we have three more entries to enter here let me just close it like here we have three more entries here but it doesn't include automatically in our named range so how to include that either we can go to here and edit a formula here or we can create a dynamic offset formula to include these values automatically okay let me just delete this one to demonstrate it later if it includes that also so what was our formula just copy this formula close it down and just paste it here so just get rid of this part so we have the absolute rate which is fine rows and column will be zero which is also fine but our height changes and to include these automatically and we, we may have three or more values upcoming in our in near future to include this automatically we can use a function to include all non-blank item to be appear in such range okay so what we're gonna do is we just want to replace this height hard coded value to our count a function if you want to learn count a function more in detail you can find the video in our channel just copy this like two words here and make it to absolute such that it won't give you any false result here so here what we are telling offset function is to count all the non-blank items such that if we enter more and more values to it it will automatically include it in our named range fine so let me just copy this function click ctrl plus x go to the name manager click on edit just paste that formula here okay so by pasting that formula here let's see if we selected these values or not yes we have selected these values just click on ok for now and close it let's just add one more value to it like this and see if our named manager has included or not so let's just go to the edit for the sales part and go to this yes it has also included that value also so you can also do the same for the columns part just input the count a let me demonstrate that also so let me just copy this function here close it down so as you can see this function reverse this so let me just get rid of this part okay so here you can also if you width change or you can say if you have one more product to include in that sales data you can also imply count a function in width part right you can also include that you can also apply count a function in that part too to include all the values which may have incurred in here so hope you like this video hope you learn about offset function how powerful it is and if you have then please click the like button and if you have something in mind some questions in mind you can use the comment box and if you want to share this video to your colleague friend or family you can also do that by clicking on the share if you want to learn such stuff more in detail please click the subscribe button to get updated to our newer content so see you in the next video until then bye bye